Hi, I'm Claire Pyres, and I'm the host of Glad All Access, Glad's video series that features interviews with newsmakers, hitmakers, and people accelerating acceptance. Tonight, we're at the 26th Annual Glad Media Awards in New York City at the legendary Waldorf Astoria Hotel, and we wanted to thank our presenting sponsors, Delta Airlines, Hilton Hotels, Kettle One Vodka, and Wells Fargo. Take a look. I mean, it's the, it's the greatest honor I can receive. I said this is the, probably the most significant thing to happen to me since I got married and had my three kids. This is a big honor. This is a big one. It matters. It matters because it, it means that maybe, maybe I'm doing some, something positive out there in the universe and, and you know, you don't really think about it in that term when you're just on the air doing your job every day. But I sure am glad if I'm able to advance the community in any way. I'm always, I'm always grateful to do my part because I feel deeply about um, the basic human rights of my fellow citizens, and and Glad has always been such a strong supporter of each other, and 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 really fighting for their rights. It feels great to be nominated and it also feels great to be receiving the Vito Russo Award. It's a fantastic and humbling honor and I thank GLAD so much for this. Thank you. How excited are you to host the GLAD Media Award? Beyond, OMG, this is big. You know, I hosted in LA and now they've asked me to host in New York and this year has been incredible for the community. So there's a lot to celebrate and a lot to make fun of, which is my job. Congratulations on being nominated for the T-Word. How does it feel to be nominated for a GLAD Media Award? It's not my first time as a GLAD Media Award nominee, but this feels so special because um, this is the first thing I've been, as an executive producer, that I've been nominated for. And the T word looks at the lives of seven trans youth between the ages of 12 and 24, and they were so brave and courageous to go on to national television and come forward as transgender people. That's still a big deal. It's still a really big deal, and I'm so happy they trusted us. And what I said to Danielle Carter the other day, we, um, we won the Emmy, the Daytime Emmy Award for our, our special, is that I hope this reaffirms for you that your story, just you telling your story is powerful, valuable, life-changing, and life-saving. I live out loud. I don't hide. And it's nice to see Titus Andromedon not hiding and for that uh, I'm honored to play him. Well you know it's all about civil rights and I'm hopeful that the Supreme Court will agree. We have to get past uh, all these these uh, ideological uh, uh, conflicts. It's really I don't I think that they don't really think that way they're doing it for grandstanding. Uh, I, I, who cares what anyone else does? Live your own life and not worry you know, it's tough enough out there without having enemies in your own country. And what are you most excited about for tonight? Um, I'm excited to hang out with my trans sisters, Laverne, Janet. Like, I feel like we're like a little crew, you know, like we kind of like had such a presence in the past year. Putting faces and real live stories around what's happening in the South is really going to open the hearts and minds of the people in the room here. And so they'll have a much better understanding of why we would be doing a, a concert in Nashville and why we'll be embarking on a six-state bus tour. I know that Sports Illustrated and also Time, um, and I was also um, uh, featured in Time magazine as well. So I have two magazines I'm rooting for in that category. Um, both Working with both Time and Sports Illustrated was an incredible uh, process. and. I wish them both the best of luck tonight. I'm excited because GLAD celebrates and sheds a light on all different sorts of media that tell LGBTQ stories. And I feel like personal stories and fictional stories are the best way to sort of incite acceptance and change. And so any organization that celebrates that, I'm all about supporting them. You know, I think it's important too that television reflects the, the population of America and the, the, the great diversity that exists in America. And it's nice that we live in a time where you can turn on the television and see yourself reflected uh, with, by the people on camera. We're, we're, we're honored to be here. This is this is this is important. Um, I mean, these media do. awards are, you know, to award uh, truth and uh, excellence and uh, and light and compassion. This is this is what we're here to honor. And how does it feel to be nominated for Orange is the New Black? Oh my god, it's another dream come true. Like, I'm li literally living my dream. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, wow, this is really happening to me. It's just so great that our show is like opening up the doors for other people, their minds. It's just amazing. I'm so happy to be a part of something like this that's making history. It's an honor. It's humbling. It's every day that we, we come across these, these recognitions, we all take a step back and realize, are we really part of this? Well, at least I do. Hey, 
I'm Kelly Ripa, and I've got your back. Literally, you got mine. I got yours. I'm Sarah Kate Ellis, and I've got your back. I'm Christian Henderson, and I've got your back. My name is Titus Burgess, and I've got your back. My name is Jason Collins, and I've got your back. Hi, everybody. I'm Thomas Roberts, and I've got your back. Hi, I'm Laverne Cox, and I got your back. I'm Jackie Cruz, and I've got your back. Cool. I'm Anderson Cooper, and I got your back. I am Jeffrey Tambor, and I've got your back. I'm Judith Light, and I've got your back. Awesome. My name is Jonathan Groff, and I've got your back. Hi, it's Ross Matthews. I got your back. Hi, guys. It's me, Carmen Carrera, and I've got your back. Mwah.